Hey everyone, so I hope you're all okay. Yes, I've gone back to black because I just got tired of my red hair. There are a lot of things I couldn't wear. Makeup looks, jewellery, bags, um, lipsticks. So I just thought I'm tired. I'm going to go back to black. So I dyed my hair black. I can't remember what hair dye I used. It was really, really like some cheap one from Body Care. If I find the box before I put it in the bin, I will put it down below. It was just a plain like jet black. Um, hair dye, it's pretty pretty black and I wanted that, I wasn't sure how it would look at first like I was panicking yesterday that it looked really really like it looks like synthetic hair but um, I like it I was really thinking of what to film because sometimes I do get sort of like what do you call it, like writer's block the other version of writer's block filming block um, so I thought I would do a video on my favourite lipsticks and then someone just suggested on Twitter that I do my favourite lipstick lip gloss combo. So, these are my current favourite lipstick lip product combos. So stuff I wear, like lip pencils, lipsticks and lip glosses together and um, how I pair them. They're drugstore and high-end, mainly MAC and then other drugstore products. So I'm just going to show you the ones I've picked out. There's quite a few, so hopefully this might give you ideas of what to, um, what to get or what to try out. The reason why I use lip pencils is because I have really pigmented lips, they're quite dark, so I have to meet up my lips and then use the lipsticks. So you might not need to use these lip pencils, which I do suggest to you, so um, they're not, they're literally they're all optional, even the lip glosses are all optional, some people don't like to wear lip glosses with their lipsticks. So the first one is a drugstore lipstick and this is Rimmel's Airy Fairy. Now this you cannot get in the UK unfortunately. And obviously you can see mine literally um, run out. <laughs> um, this is Airy Fairy and like I said you can't get it in the UK. I got this in a swap last year from the US. But you can try eBay. And it's like a light pink, nude pink lipstick with like, you probably won't see it, but with gold reflexes to it. You probably won't be able to see the gold, but it has actually got gold reflexes to it on the lipstick. And I would pair this with the NYX Nude Pink Lip Pencil. It just looks like that. That's the colour of it there. And just swatched on my hand, it's pretty much the same. So I would pair these two together. I wouldn't use a lip gloss because it's quite creamy, but if I was going to use a lip gloss, I would probably go for... Um, I'd probably go for Nude Pink as well by NYX, the Mega Shine lip gloss. So these colours, I love the I love the way my camera looks today actually. <laughs> the colours are quite, the colours are picking up pretty well. So those are what we go together, I really, really like this lipstick. The next one you've probably seen me wear recently and this is Max Pink Plaid. And this is a matte pink lipstick as you can see, it's like a blue tone pink, I think. Looks like that. It's really pretty. And for lip pencil, I would use NYX's Natural. Looks like that. And I'll fill in my lips with that first and then apply the lipstick. It's more on the nude side, like nudey brown side, I don't know if it's brown, and that just sort of tones it down as well. And I wouldn't wear a lip gloss because I kind of like the matte effect, the matte finish of this lipstick. So, but if I was going to put a lipstick over that, I would probably go for Max Cream Sheen Glass in Partial to Pink, which looks like that. And this actually has like tiny specks of shimmer to it as well, but you won't be able to see it unless you have it in person. And that's what it looks like. So those, those are what I would wear together. I'll try to put links of videos where I'm actually wearing these lipsticks if I can find them. If you want to see what they look like on my lips. So I will try to do that as well. I'll put them down below. So the next one is one of my favourite matte lipsticks. And this is Ruby Woo. And um, it's a matte as well. So it's very... And the, the one thing about this lipstick is it's really, really... It's really like drying onto the lips. 
but I make sure I moisturise my lips first and apply it. And for a lip pencil, I use the Maybelline Lip Pencil in Red Glamour, which looks like that. And swatched against it, it's quite similar in colour. So I use, I fill in my lips with this one first and then apply the lipstick. Obviously it's in matte lipstick so I don't have to use, I don't use a lip gloss over that because I want to keep it matte. But it's one of my favourite MAC lipsticks. And alongside Ruby Woo, this is actually a new purchase. I've got Russian Red, also by MAC. And it's also in matte, but um, it's more of a bit of more of a vibrant red compared to Ruby Woo. I'll just watch that next to each other. So that's Ruby Woo. Sorry, that's so that's Russian Red and that's Ruby Woo. It's quite similar, but Ruby Woo is a little bit darker. And like I said, it's a matte lipstick. But for a lip pencil, I use a slightly different lip pencil. I use NYX's Hot Red lip pencil, and I think it's actually an exact match to Russian Red. And I use those two together. So you can see they're quite different. So I'm love, I, I love the fact that my hair is now black. I can actually wear my red lipsticks and my really deep pink lipsticks now. So those two my current favourites as well. I, I had to get Russian Red because, you know, I wanted to try that out and obviously because Ruby Roo is quite drying as well so I thought I'd get Russian Red. Next one I have, you've probably seen a lot in my previous videos, is this, another Rimmel lipstick in Bordeaux. And this is like a burgundy red lipstick. And for a lip pencil I use NYX's Slim Lip Pencil in Burgundy as well, and it's pretty much a close match. Um, well, it's sort of a bit lighter. That's a lip pencil. So I would pair these two together if I was going to wear them together. And I don't use a lip gloss for this. The next one I have, that you've also seen before, this is Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in Mink. And that just looks like that like a nude brown lipstick it's like literally a perfect match to my lips it looks like that hope you can see that and then for a lip pencil NYX's lip pencil in nude truffle and that's what it looks like there as well so these two are pretty much spot on and I'll pair them both together and sometimes I will use a lip gloss sometimes I wouldn't because this is also quite creamy I would pair, probably pair it with the um, cream sheen glass by MAC in Boy Bait and it's slightly lighter than the lipstick but uh, it, it looks good together so that's what it looks like now this one I haven't actually worn in a long time but I know this was my favourite and this is another Rimmel lipstick Rimmel's Pink Excess Looks like that. And when you swatch it, it is quite, it's quite light. But the lip pencil I use makes it a lot darker. So that's the swatch. It's quite pretty. But then I use this lip, I think it's called Indian Pink. This lip pencil also by Rimmel. And um, I fill in my lips first with that. And that's what gives it more of the colour. You can see it's a lot darker than the, lip, the lipstick. So when I put this over the lip pencil, it just gives a really nice pink. And I do have a video where I was wearing this, so I'll definitely put it down below. But this is my absolute favourite combination. Now I don't use a lip gloss with this, I just leave it on its own. But these two, it's another nice pink to go for as well. The next one you already know about, and it's the MAC Viva Glam 2 lipstick, which looks like this. It's a really, really nice nude lipstick I literally I talk about this all the time it's a satin finish looks like that and the lip pencil I pair this with is the L'Oreal um, lip pencil in cappuccino a lot of you say you can't find this lip pencil if you check on eBay you should should be able to go because I got mine from eBay as well and um, that's the lip pencil I pair this with so it sort of um, darkens it a little bit but well, that's the colour together. And with this I pair with the Cream Sheen Glass in Boy Bait. So these definitely go well together. I need to get another one because I'm literally running out of it. So those, those three go together. 
So that's the combination for Max Fever Gum 2. My next favourite is Max Rebel lipstick. And as you can see, it looks like that. This is a really um what's the shade? Plummy. It's like a burgundy plummy shade. Like purple as well. It's a bit a bit of a weird colour to describe. Looks like that. It looks a lot brighter in the picture than it does in person. Absolutely gorgeous, and it's a satin finish. My favourite finish from Mac because it's not, it's not, um, it's not matte, and it has a bit of a shine to it, so it's okay. It's not too drying. And I use, I have two options for lip pencils. They're both by NYX. I either use the lip pencil in Plum, and that's Plum. Or I use Deep Purple, also by NYX, depending on how I want it. Now a lot of people will probably go for the Deep Purple lipstick because it's quite close to Rebel. But I like them both. The final one, which is what I'm wearing today, is also a recent purchase. It is Max Girl About Town. Absolutely gorgeous pink. It's like a bright fuchsia pink colour amplifier cream finish and it's just so so pretty it looks like that and for a lip pencil I also use a NYX most of my lip pencils are from NYX now uh, Fuchsia it looks like that and next to it that's what it looks like next to it so that's pretty much another spot on pencil to go with the lipstick I absolutely love these colours together. I also have lip glosses which I wear um, like a lot and I would normally pair them with some of the ones I've already shown you and the first one is NYX Natural which looks like this. Now this one is a bit, it's like a nude and I would probably wear this with like my nude browns and really like nude pink lipsticks obviously. The ones on the softer side, the ones that don't have too much pink in them. The next one is also by NYX and this is beige, which looks like this. It's called beige, but it's an actual like pink lipstick, lip gloss. Looks like that. So I probably pair this with the um, Airy Fairy lipstick. Or maybe the pink plaid lipstick, but not so much. And then the other one is this one also by NYX, the round lip gloss in Sorbet. And this is like a light pink with like gold reflexes to it, but you won't be able to see it from the swatch. You can obviously see a lot better in person. A lot of my lipsticks go really well. I have a lot of lip glosses as well, but these are the three I normally reach for a lot. Those are all my favourite lip combinations. Now for those who can't really afford MAC lipsticks or don't have MAC lipsticks, I am doing a dupes video. Some of the dupes are coming from the US, so I have to wait for them to get here before I do the video. But I have a dupe for every single one of my lipsticks, so you should be really excited. I tried to find two of each one, so that those in the UK can get something and those in the US can get something. Because I know some lipsticks you can't find in either the UK or the US. I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry if it felt like quite long, but I wanted to show you all my lipsticks. I initially was going to do five, but I thought I do have more than five, so I might as well show you. And show you a mixture of drugstore and high-end. So, let me know what your favourite combinations are as well, and if you're going to try out any of mine. And also let me know suggestions for any videos you might want to see. Any current favourites or that sort of thing. Not makeup tutorials because I, I do have some more. Well, if you do have any tutorials you want to suggest, um, feel free to let me know. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.